Good afternoon guys, welcome to Outer City Cop, it's the 24th of May 2017 and I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, Liverpool this morning took on a, um, Sydney FC out in Australia on a pre-season, end of season friendly, is if you can sort of get your head around that. Um, they won 3-0, goals with Daniel Sturridge, Alberto Moreno and Bobby Firmino. Daniel Sturridge was outstanding on the day guys, first half absolutely brilliant. I've, Probably one of the best performances I've seen in a while from him, guys. It really was. Uh, if he plays more like that, I would not have a problem with him staying at the club unless he can stay fit, which we're pretty much sure that he won't. Um, I've always said he's a fantastic player. I know I've come out and been very critical of Daniel Sturridge. I've always said he's a fantastic player. There's no question about that. What I'm questioning is his fitness and his... Um, his his mentality towards the football game. I just don't think his head's in... He, he's truly focused on football, in my opinion. But, you know, guys, I know a lot of you guys uh, want him to stay after his performance in the last few weeks. Fair enough. I want, you know, if we can get good money for him, guys, I'd like to see him move still, if we only get good money. Um, if we don't get good money, you know, you can't do any wrong with having him on the bench or in and out of the squad. Right, but enough about that. That was the result. 3-0 today. Great result. Steven Gerrard got to play. Steve McManaman got to play. Jamie Carr got to play. Daniel Agger also played. See some good legends. Um, very good game. Well, good first half. The second half weren't too great. But anyway, right, this is what I want to talk to you guys about. Is the goalkeeper situation at Liverpool Football Club. Currently, on the on, on the books at the moment, Liverpool have Simon Mingile, Loris Carius, Danny Ward and Alex Manninger. Um, out of them four, I can see two of them going in the summer. Maybe one of them going into a coach road. I can see Danny Ward maybe going to a championship side. Maybe, you know, get a permanent switch to Huddersfield. I can see Manninger maybe dropping into a coaching role or leaving in the summer. Carius and Simon Mingley, I reckon they will still be at the club in the summer. But, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. Um, in recent days, um, reports have come out saying that Liverpool are interested in bringing... Ika Casillas on a free transfer to the Liverpool Football Club and the Premier League. Um, Ika Casillas, obviously, if you don't know, he's just finished the season at FC Porto. Prior to that, he was, you know, first choice for many years at Real Madrid, winning the La Liga title, Champions League titles, um, um, uh, the Euros for Spain and the World Cup for Spain, obviously. Fantastic goalkeeper, you know, absolutely He's been renowned for being one of the world's best for many of many of years. Um, what do you guys think to bringing him in on a free transfer? His wages may be a little bit high, but if we're going to get rid of two goalkeepers, I'd like to see um, Casillas come into the club. I really would. I think he's better than any of the goalkeepers we have currently at the club as it stands. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to know what you guys think. If you would like to see Casillas come in on a free transfer, Make sure to drop a comment down in the comment section. I like to give them a good read. I've got some statistics here, guys, about the keepers that are currently at the club and obviously statistics stats on Ika Casillas' last season. Um, right, start off with Mingile. Mingile, this is just in the Premier League, guys. Mingile's played 28 games in the Premier League, 9 clean sheets, 16 wins and 5 losses. You know... This season has been by far his best season, Simon Mingle. The only game that I can actually criticise him on and said he was dreadful in was the Hall game, our first um, yeah, our first game against Hull in the season. He wasn't great. Um, but he definitely pulled his finger out. I think um, I think Klopp has taken a good shine into um, Mingle. I, I don't see him being moved on in the summer after his season, um, last season, well, the season just gone. Carrius in the same season um, has played 10 games in the Premier League, 3 clean sheets, 6 wins and 1 loss in the Premier League. He's only 23 years of age, whereas Simon Mingle is 29 years of age. And then Casillas, this is very interesting guys, right? He'll be on a free transfer, he's 36 years old. And for Porto, I've, in, I've also put in the Champions League games in for him. Um, he played 41 games in total, 22 clean sheets and 4 losses. For a 36 year old guys, what's that say about his quality still at his age? Um, in an ideal world, this is what I'd like to happen in the summer. I'd like to see Ike Casillas come in in the summer, regardless to being on a wage of maybe between 80 and 100,000 pounds a week. Um, I think his experience is second to none. I think a lot of our goalkeepers, and not even our goalkeepers, just our players in general, just to get that winning mentality into the club, because there's no doubt that he is a winner, uh, will benefit massively. So, you know, forget the wages, guys. We're not paying it. 
Um, it would be nice to see Liverpool splash some bloody cash for the first time. Um, but you know, guys, that is a fantastic goalkeeper on a free. You know, Porto have offered him a contract which he has rejected. So if we could get his services, I'd like to see him. Um, I'd, so in an ideal world, I'd like to see Carrius loaned out next next year to a Premier League club, but not a bottom end Premier League club, a mid to top end Premier League team. If they would take him on loan and play him week in week out, that will only benefit him massively because he's only had one good one season at um, Liverpool. We can't judge him on that. If we can get him regular game time at a Premier League squad to get him used to the Premier League, get used to the, the physicality, the League Cups, the uh, FA Cups, it would be absolutely brilliant. So if we can loan Carrius out, bring in Casillas and just rotate Casillas and bring you throughout the season, see Danny Ward move on maybe to Huddersfield and get a permanent deal and see Manning and May drop into a coaching role or passed on in the summer. Um, let me know in the comments guys what you think. If you agree with me or disagree, it doesn't matter, just give me your opinions on what, it should, what you think should happen. I always like to uh, read it and I always reply. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading them guys. Um, like normal, i like you to smash the like button on the video. We need to get these likes up guys. Um, we're averaging, if we can get 30 likes on this video, that would be the best we've had. Um, if you already haven't yet, make sure to subscribe on the video, guys, um, and join the community, which is forever growing every day. Uh, we're still small, but we're growing, um, and we're getting very, uh, we're getting a lot of positive comments. And we've got, uh, come and chat to the guys in the comment section who put their comments. They're wicked people. Um, They've been there for me at the moment. I've been going through a little bit of hardship from, um, in recent weeks. And they've been there backing me. So if you've got any problems, drop it down in the comments. We'll all try and help. Um, you never walk alone, guys. That really does, you know, it, it's a lifestyle. You know, everyone will back you. All Liverpool fans are brilliant like that. So if you've got any problems, come and chat to us in the comments. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can help you out like I've been helped in recent weeks. Um, yeah, so like normal guys, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, keep safe.